always looking for the best in the world. We're looking for people who have the talent to become world champions. These kids that are going to come in on this contender series, they're coming in one night, one shot. I'm sitting there determining whether you're going to make it into the UFC or not. And it's live. And this is an opportunity for the fans to see some of the best up and coming talent in the world right now. If you're a fan of fighting, you can't miss this show. The Tuesday Night Contender Series, live and only on UFC Fight Pass. チームっていうものを作って勝ち抜き。I think he wants to be itself. He wants to be a new face in this landscape of、uh, martial arts. April 11th, Ryo Doku, Kakugaken, Twin Jack Wan. Dude, this is our town, Gian Vellante. This is our city. I've never actually had batting practice with a professional team.、Ah! So myself and the heartthrob, we went over to meet the Rockettes. I was thinking of what do you put on Matt Sarah's birthday cake? <laughs> Our pizza tour guide was this guy Scott. He carries around a thermometer in his pocket. You gotta get a wedgie for that. We were expecting an all-out war. What we got was way better. <laughs> Not this time. UFC fans, we'd like to welcome you to the weigh-in for UFC 223, Khabib versus Ayakunta. Tomorrow night, two UFC belts will be on the line from Brooklyn. In the main event, raging ally Ayakunta steps up on short notice to face the undefeated Khabib Nurmagomedov for the UFC lightweight title. Plus, a championship rematch in the co-main event as Thug Rose Namajunas looks to make it two straight. Against the former strawweight queen Joanna Yonjacek, we would like to thank our UFC sponsors: EA Sports UFC 3. Become the goat in the best UFC game ever made. EA Sports UFC 3 available now on PlayStation 4 and Xbox One. Modelo Especial, brewed with a fighting spirit since 1925. Metro PCS. Bringing you closer than ever to the UFC on a pound-for-pound -pound great network that covers 99% of people in the U.S. Harley Davidson. See your dealer today and learn to ride like some of your favorite UFC fighters with Harley Davidson Riding Academy. Live your legend. And Body Armor. Body Armor Sports Drink provides superior hydration for today's athletes. More electrolytes, more vitamins, better sports drink. Body Armor, the official sports drink of the UFC. We would also like to send a special welcome to our UFC Fight Club members joining us today here in Brooklyn, New York. We hope to see all of you once again for the live action at Barclays Center tomorrow night. And now to get the UFC 223 way in underway, here is Joe Rogan. What's happening, in Brooklyn? Welcome to the weigh-ins, ladies and gentlemen. How about a nice round of applause for Ariani, Brittany, Chrissy. Sean Shelby and Mick Maynard, Dana White having the best week ever. We still got a lot of great fights for you, folks. We're going to kick things off in the light heavyweight division. Devin Clark versus Mike Rodriguez. Official weight, two, three. 
official weight, 205 for Mr. Clark. Oh! First fight of the night, ladies and gentlemen, on FS1, Devin Clark and Mike Rodriguez. The next fight takes place in the women's flyweight division. Beck Rawlings versus Ashley Evans Smith. Official weight, 126 for Miss Smith. And her opponent, Ben Rawlings. Official weight, 126. Evan Smith and Beth Rawlings, ladies and gentlemen. The next fight takes place in the lightweight division. Evan Dunham versus Olivier Armand Mercier. Official weight, 155. And his opponent, Evan Dunham. Official weight, 156. Olivier Albo Mercier and Evan Dunham, ladies and gentlemen, let them know. Next, we move to the main card, live on pay-per-view. We kick things off in the lightweight division. Joe Lozon versus Craig Chris Gripshammer. My fault, ladies and gentlemen. Excuse me. We're still on FS1 in the women's strawweight division. Carolina Kvalkovich versus Felice Herring. Official weight, 115.5 for Little Bulldog. 
Mocker! Official weight, 155! And his opponent, Joe Lozon! Official weight, 155.5! First fight on pay-per-view, ladies and gentlemen, Joe Lozon and Chris Ritzmacher. Next, we move to the featherweight division. Zabit Megamed Shapiro versus Kyle Pogniak. Official weight, 146 for Mr. Magomed Sharipa. Oh, I'm sorry. Excuse me, official weight, 145 for Kyle Bachnia. I'm cursed, this whole card's cursed. And his opponent, Zabi Magomed Shapiro. Official weight, 146 for Zabit. Zabit Magomed Sharipa versus Kyle Buckniak, ladies and gentlemen. All right, good luck tomorrow, you too. Good luck tomorrow, you too. The next fight takes place in the featherweight division. Hanato Moicano versus Calvin Cater. Jacek trying to stay undefeated, and Ty Ronda Rousey's women's title defense record at six. She is the prohibitive favorite against Thug Rose Namajunas. This young lady got a title shot before, but she may have been too young. Trying to push that elbow out. She's now she feels like the timing is perfect for her to become the UFC champion. I'll tell you one thing, it's tough to get a read on this young lady. Facing a monster. <laughs> I need to go so you don't know what being a second one. One of the most dominant and terrifying.
unifying champions, and she's just dead face. No one is taking this belt from me. No one. Knockdown from Nama Yunus. Rose Nama Yunus trying to close the show. That's it. Mixed martial arts world on its axis tonight. It was destiny to happen. I knew that uh, I had a mission to accomplish, and uh, that's all I was focused on. I needed to beat Joanna to know that I'm the best in the world for myself and nobody else. Rose Nama Yunus versus Joanna Yanjechik for the women's strawweight UFC title, a rematch. I think this will be the greatest fight in women's strawweight history. Ioana Janjicic started off 14-0, smashing the best names in the division. She was untouchable in the strawweight division, the best of all time. Oh, man. Oh, God. Just constant punishment by Janjicic. Total domination. Who's next? Uh, but all that confidence going against Rose Nama Yunus didn't help. Rose Nama Yunus was a different fighter in that fight. She was known as a submission fighter. She's got her back, looking to finish this fight. She's got it, she's tapping. Rose Nama Yunus got the first knockout of her career in the biggest fight of her career. I think that uh, Rose uh, was lucky in our first fight. I think she's a fluke. Maybe Rose has a bed, but this bed belongs to me. Finishing Joanna is a true testament to, you know, my abilities. She was the best in the world at the time, and, you know, now I am. It's just a new era, you know, it's not gonna change. I'm gonna punch her in the face, take her back, and choke her out. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen, introducing the challenger, the former UFC strawweight champion of the world, Joanna Yonjaitan! Check, you wanna, what did you just say to Rose? I just wanna say thank you guys for the support. I brought this little man here for a reason. He was in New York when I lost to Rose. And he made me strong right after the fight. This little man, I'm his auntie and I had to be strong for him. That's the reason he is here and I, took care of every single thing, preparing for this fight. And you will see different Yana champion, different Yana Jacek, better fighter. And I dedicate this fight to people who have failed and don't have, don't have strength to rise. Guys, everything is up to you. Everything is up to you. All the best, have fun tomorrow. I'm taking over Brooklyn. Thank you, Anna. Good luck to you tomorrow night. I'm here with the champion, ladies and gentlemen, Thug Rose. Rose, this is a new and unique position for you. You are the champion. You're defending your title now. How does this all feel? I'm super grateful and blessed to be here. Um, 
Despite everything that's going on this week, uh, I'm just grateful for, for another chance to face my fears and, um, you know, just prove to myself that I'm the best in the world. Um, when I do my best, I am the best, and by God's will, I will be and still. The champion, ladies and gentlemen, Thug Rose! Now, let's take a closer look at the two men involved in the main event of the evening. Khabib Nurmagomedov is 25-0. That is unheard of in modern mixed martial arts, and that's what Khabib has. And the way he's done it, he walks through his opponent's offense, takes them down, and smashes them into the ground. It's like an avalanche coming down on top. Khabib can wipe you out. Al Iaquinta is a kickboxing menace. His last knockout of Diego Sanchez was tremendous. He landed a right hand, boom! I can't wait. This is a fight between two of the best fighters in the world and two of the most violent the UFC has to offer. Their ability to walk fighters down and make them quit. You have two of them in the cage at the same time. That's what fight should be about. That's what this fight will be. Fighting on my home turf is awesome. I'm extremely motivated for this fight right now. This is a lifetime's worth of work coming into this fight. Tonight, I want to show all my skills, and uh, tonight I'm going to show who is king on this territory. There's a million ways this can end. I think for me, I, I have a lot of ways to win. It's just which way presents itself first. And again, Hayakinta has stopped this fight! Tonight, I'm going to show my best performance because I'm going to fight for the title. You know, I'm young, hungry, ready, and tonight is my time is coming. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen, for the UFC what the fuck? title, New York Zone, Raging Al Iaquinta! Official weight, 155 for Raging Al! What an insane turn of events. You're supposed to be fighting. All of a sudden you get a call to fight for the main event for the world title. What was going through your mind? Oh, what the hell is going on, New York? <laughs> I have no idea. This is, what I, this is what it's all about. You get the opportunity, you seize the moment. This is what I'm about. Let's go. I'm excited for the fight because I know you're a wild man. It's going to be a lot of fun. Raging Al, ladies and gentlemen. And his opponent, ladies and gentlemen, Khabib Nurmagomedov. An insane turn of events for you. Supposed to be Tony Ferguson. He gets hurt. All this is happening. Max Holloway can't make weight. What was going through your mind? And how, how is your thought process right now heading into tomorrow night? First of all, I want to say Alhamdulillah. You know, Allah always have better parents than we have. And you know, this week they asked me to fight with five different guys. Hey, I say, I'm tired about this. If you can bring King Kong and he can make 155, let's go. Hey, I come here for make history, you know. And uh, it's going to be a very big fight for me, not because of Alia Quinta. Hey, my childhood dream becomes true because I'm going to fight for real belt. And you know, tomorrow, tomorrow God have plan, inshallah. Doesn't matter what's gonna happen. I'm gonna go keep forward, keep going, and make history, inshallah. Thank you so much, guys. Thank you. Good luck to you, brother. Ladies and gentlemen, 
That's the weigh-ins. Thank you very much. We'll see you all tomorrow night. Hey, fans. UFC Fight Pass is your ticket to more than 1,000 live bouts. Check